So, there is this interesting topic about whether Santa Claus is black or white or not. <laughs> I find that ever so funny. You people still think he is human? <laughs> I shall bestow upon you the true story of Santa Claus. Now, first of all, Santa Claus, he is neither white nor black, nor Asian, nor Mexican, nor Indian, or anything that is of this human realm. His real name is Sanatos Yog Yubdub, but to translate into his own language. <laughs> yes, he is an eldritch abomination. A Cthulian creature of H.P. Lovecraftian lore. He is not of this world. He is a giant, gigantic, purple, green, red, yellow, giant ball of eyes. Eyes everywhere. Eyes. Thousands of eyes. He has thousands of eyes everywhere. And even thousands more tentacles with spikes, spiked tentacles, and eyeballs everywhere. <sighs> this is what Santa Claus really is. And no, no, Santa did not give, Santa did not give the little good boys and girls presents. It didn't matter if you were good, or bad, or naughty, or nice. He gave you the most horrible nightmare of your existence. So, every Christmas night, it wasn't even called Christmas back then, it was called something else way back when, sometime, many years ago. Many, many, many years ago, it was called something else. But, Santa, we'll just call him Santa for now, because the order name is a little difficult to pronounce, a little. Santa would go from house to house, every night, on his doom ship of evil. His evil doom ship, made of the flesh of those who have committed suicide. Fucking ad. He, may, he uses doom ship made up from the flesh of sinners who have committed suicide to fly from house to house, from state to state, from country to country. Yeah. <sighs> And he would go into the house, go into the house. He would go to the youngest one, the youngest one. He would go into the room. He wouldn't just go in though. He would sliver his way through. He would slime his way through. He was covered in slime all the time. All the time covered in slippery, gooey slime. He would just go in through the door. <laughs> put his ten one of his many thousand tentacles around the doorknob and open the door slowly then he would crawl in slowly but surely he would crawl in he would crawl in and then and then he would sneak to the bedroom his many thousand tentacles of his watching, staring, thousand eyeballs, and he would eviscerate every available orifice on your sleeping body. With his tentacles, everything if he eviscerated. And while he did that, one of his tentacles would shoot out this Icarus, disgusting, goo-tastically yellow ooze all over you. To shoot it out. <laughs> like it was a hose. Like it was a party in the USA. But this wasn't a goddamn party. This was the worst night of your life. Everywhere we go, 
But you know, this was a special kind of liquid. This was a special kind of goo. This is a kind of goo that will set you on flame. But the flames, they wouldn't kill you. They would keep you alive. They would burn you. They would burn you, but just on the surface of your skin. They wouldn't burn beneath or char you. They would just burn you enough on the skin so that your skin was peeling, so that your skin was, you know, kind of charred, but it wasn't completely this. It wasn't completely, you know, burned to the crisp. So from there, basically, you were alive. But the thing was, your soul, your immortal, your immortal soul was trapped within your body. So even if you did die, your soul would not move on. It would not move on at all. And after Santa was done eviscerating your body, after he was done using every orifice of his tentacles and just destroying everything, he would move on. He'd move on to the members of the household. He'd move on to the brother and sister. He'd move on to the dog. He'd move on to the cat. He'd move on to the rat. He'd move on to the parents. He'd move on to the grandparents. He move on to that guy living, that hobo living right outside your door at night. Move on to everybody. And the same thing happened. But here's where the freaky part comes in. Little tiny creatures. Little small tiny worm-like little creatures would chew their way out of your skin. They would chew your way, their, their way through your skin, just come out. <laughs> come out of your arm like this. They weren't that big. They were like this big. <laughs> Come out. Eat the weight from your, from your skin, from various parts of your body, from your head, your toes, your butt, your, your nutsack, your feet, everything. They would come out from wherever they could. They would just come out. And then from there, they would start to feed. They would start to feed on your body. Or should I say, your corpse. Your living corpse. Because that's all it was now. That's all that it was. A living corpse. They would just eat it. They would eat away every single part of it. Eat away the fingers, the lips, the mouth, the teeth, the toes, your penis. Everything. Everything would be devoured. Everything. Do you get what I'm saying? Everything would be eaten. Except for two things. Two things would remain, and those were the eyes. Why do you need the? Why would you keep the eyes? You ask, because that's what you use to see your eyes. So from there, from there, they would leave the eyeballs. But your soul was trapped of them. That is because they are they are the soul catchers. They are there to. He devoured the body, but keep the soul of the person holding the, of the of the keep the soul of the person of the body, so that they can bring it back to Kafu, uh, bring it back to Santa, bring it back to Santa. But they would keep the eyeballs because you need them to see. They would put the, they would take their little tiny teeth, chomp on the eyeball. But not hard enough to actually eat it or break it, but just enough you know, so they can actually carry it back to Santa. Carry it back with him, back to wherever he lives in the other dimension. <laughs> now from there, your soul and two eyeballs are trapped with the soul catchers. They, the soul catchers become a part of Santa again. They go back inside of him. So that way your soul is trapped in him forever. But you know what? It doesn't end there. The eyeballs are there. So that they can be brought back to you. So that you can see again. So you can see the wonderful time when you were devoured and eviscerated by Santa and his minions. Over and over again. For the rest of your afterlife. That's all you will ever see. Just that. It was such a horrible thing that the people decided to find a way to stop this evil creature, this evil Santa that nobody wanted ever again. So they went off 
and they found a hieroglyph of a fat white dude wearing on all red chasing away this Cthulhuian creature known as Santa. And they fought, you know what? The people thought, well, you know what? If we make this man a symbol of Christmas, if we make this man a symbol and we call this period of darkness Christmas, maybe, just maybe, we can get rid of this evil creature and he will never bother the human race again. So from there, Christmas was created. They made a huge fat white dude wearing all red, the symbol of Christmas. And they made it very important that gifts giving was a part of Christmas. People give each other gifts on Christmas. Because back then before, back then, way back then, in the dark times, it used to just be this evil Santa creature giving his evil creatures to you. Giving his evil little soul catches to you. Eviscerating your body, eviscerating your orifices with his tentacles, and then leaving and taking your soul with him and keeping it for all eternity. That is why Christmas exists. Now, as to why Santa is black or white or whatever, there is no real explanation. I mean, he could be anything, honestly, but. He was made white. I don't know. Maybe he, he could be anything, honestly. He could be any fucking thing. Well, just remember, that's not important. None of that is really important. What is important is why Christmas is created. Why we have this fat white dude as a symbol of Christmas. It's to keep away the real Santa. The real Santa that will haunt your nightmares from this day forward. Ha 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 